Hello, cozy friends. How are you? It has been so long. I've been busy. So let me think. I think the last vlog I did was in December. It's now February. It's like mid to late February. Basically, my room is done. Um, I will have to do like an official room tour at some point to like room tour video. I'll just show you kind of like what it's looking like now. It's not clean. And then I have a Q&A that I want to do. I just asked some questions on Instagram and some of them are all saucy. So we're going to get to those because I haven't done a Q&A since like my second vlog, my first or second vlog. Oh, and then I want to share um, one of my dear, dear internet friends from the community sent some really cute things from her mom's shop so I wanted to share that with you all I have like I just have so many updates so I, as I go throughout the day I'll give you all the updates but right now I'll just show you what my room looks like all right and and okay not to be one of the annoying people who's like it's so dirty when it's like really actually quite clean it's tidy okay but it's not clean and there's a difference there's a difference <laughs> Okay, so here is my bed area. My bed I think looks largely the same since the last time I saw you. I did add these hanging plants, which I love. Two of them are fake. <laughs> Can you tell which ones? Huh? On to the next, hello. Um, this is the kind of finished bedside table area. Ignore the wires. Um, yeah, all of this is basically the same. I have this little corner. Um, where I have my stuffies. I got a couple new ones. I'll show you. These are the same old ones. I got this little guy um, for Valentine's Day. And then I got this little guy also for Valentine's Day. Isn't he so cute? And then I got this for myself. A good portion of my internet friends are really into Squishmallows. And so it was, it was peer pressure. I'll say it was peer pressure a little bit. Nipped. Hi. Yo, you want pets or what? Boop. Here's my dresser. It, I really like it. I love this like whole setup and I really like walking into like a mirror in the room and I like doing my makeup here. I bring my little makeup bag and I put it right there, do my makeup and then I put my jewelry on. Um, this tray is from Urban Outfitters. And then I have this little thing I put in here. Um, I think I got these from Amazon and I will put them in my Amazon storefront and then just have some like perfumes and some like room sprays. I got this from Anthropology. It was only like 30 bucks, which was surprising for Anthropology. Yeah, I think this mirror was from Home Goods and this thing is from Target. This dresser is from Target. It's so bad. If you see this dresser anywhere, do not buy it. It come, it took forever to build for one. And then the things come, the, the grooves come out so often. It comes off of this and you have to like lift it up and push it back in. It's so bad, but I needed, I just needed something, okay? Y'all saw the struggle. Y'all saw my struggle. It was bad, I needed something. And then my desk area, I have it in standing mode right now because I've been trying to stand more. But this is the same, the same desk y'all have seen many a time it's messy right now but i did add this and it's just like this textured wall hang but it's very neutral and i like that and i just got that because that wall felt so blank to me but i didn't want anything that was like busy so i just got that to add some texture and that is everything that's that's like my finished room y'all have come with me through the long and arduous journey of getting all the things for this and it's finally done. Did I show y'all the, I don't think I showed y'all this. Look, isn't it adorable? So that's that. And then we're gonna hang this art up there. Oh, another addition is this little area. And this is a really cool coffee table book. I'm not sure where I got it from. It's called Today I Shall Judge Nothing That Occurs. I I think this is like the best coffee table book because it's neutral. It has really nice font. Look at that beautiful font. It's small. So if you have like a small um, table, it's perfect. You just put it there. It doesn't take up too much space. Put something on it and you're good to go. Look at that. I love it. Um, yeah, just Google Today I Shall Judge Nothing That Occurs because I don't remember if I got it from Amazon or like a random art gallery website, I don't know. I'm gonna put you on, what is his name, Sinclair? His name is Sinclair. I'm gonna put you on Sinclair. So some other cool things I got. 
these magazines that I was my setup was featured in. So this is Patch Magazine. It's like a really, really cute gaming magazine. And the like artwork they have on it is always so cute. So if you are a gamer, Patch Magazine, they have like like more. They just have games for like crafty folks. <laughs> An overcooked recipe. The lore of little nightmares. Community center checklist. I love it. It's so cute. I got because I was like, you know what? You know, every single aspect of my life is about gaming. You know, every my room, you come into my room. It's clear I'm a gamer. You have a conversation with me in real life. It's clear I'm a gamer, but it's just not enough. You know, so I got <laughs> these stickers to put on my laptop to put on my car. And then I have a, a spare one that I haven't decided where I want to put it. I think I was like, I should put it on my phone, but I don't think it'll stick to the phone case that I have. Um, and these are from, but it's from Beautif Beautifully Regular on Etsy. I don't know, I just found them. Oh, Sacramento, they're local, cool. Y'all, okay, um, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send some quick emails and then I'm gonna work out. That was just like content stuff like content work is so hard to just organize for some reason like i'm a very organized person and content work makes me feel like i have zero control for anything at all hey y'all so i did the thing that i do um where i just worked for hours what time is it i need to do some edits and stuff so that can happen later i think filming's a priority eating actually is probably the priority so i'm gonna bring you down to eat the camera died downstairs but i made some avocado toast i will show you yay <laughs> and have a little apple pouch some water my vitamins i'm gonna eat some lunch now it's getting dark. I have to go do my outdoor errands because UPS is gonna close. Um, I'm gonna go to UPS, pick up whatever package I got. I never know what package I got because it's a, it's a PO box. So y'all be sending me things. Companies send me things. I don't know, but I always appreciate it. And I'm always excited to pick things up. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get some stuff I need at the pet store. And that is about it for the outdoor to-dos. Say bye, Chila. Aww. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, I need to take... Hello? I need to take my Stardew sticker so I could put it on my car. Okay, y'all, it's something from Fangamer. And I think, I'm pretty sure my I know what this is but I want to open it now let's see oh my goodness it's a, it, it feels like a book or of some sort ah what experience what look oh my gosh Stardew Valley before the farmer this is Stardew Valley before we come in. Is that what, is it a book? <gasps> Every story has a beginning, but some go back even farther. Experience the joys and sorrows of the people of Pelican Town throughout the year leading up to your arrival in Stardew Valley. Welcome our star of hope. That is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> it's a graphic novel. Thank you, Ed, that's so sweet. I love thoughtful gifts and that is a great one. All right, going to second location. No, that's fine. I didn't have to go anywhere, that's totally fine. I picked up the package from UPS and I got Spam Masubi and a little lychee drink. Lychee drink. I always say lychee. And so I'm a happy gal. Now I'm gonna sit my butt down, be even more productive for the rest of the night, work out, and yeah. 
10 minute shadow boxing. I like the sound of that. By the face, chin down, elbows locked in towards that waist. Look from the back foot, snap the punch, bring it back. Give me a little boxer bounce in between, so across. Pop, chin towards the back, power cross. Hi friends. Um, my food is now probably so cold. And we'll get to, I guess we'll do Q&A stuff maybe tomorrow before stream while I'm getting ready for stream. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Uh, I'm just gonna be working all night. Uh, yeah, see ya, good night. Good morning, it's Sunday. Please don't look too closely at my face, okay? Promise, thank you. She's, Sheila's sleeping. Sweet baby. So I think it, the order's gonna go breakfast shower get ready slash do q a film the video and then i'll probably go right into stream all right y'all i finally i finally got to the point where i can start doing makeup and start doing the q a i'm so excited first like i feel like this is the first q a where where i've had a significant number of you around enough to where like you know me and you can ask you know informed questions and questions that you like have had for a while you've been sitting on for a while so also i think i realized it's been over a year since the last q a long overdue i'm going to get the questions and start doing my makeup and let's go number one what's city or state do you live in is there a move in your future so i live in northern california just for like privacy sake i won't say exactly what city because the cities are kind of small here i moved here for school for grad school and then stayed because this is where the firm that i really wanted to be at had an office that was hiring they do also have an LA office, but at the time they weren't really like looking to fill it up just yet. Which leads me to the fact that I do want to move back down to Southern California in the future because that's where I'm from. My family's there. Um, I just like it a little bit better. I really like Northern California. I just like LA a little bit better and I miss it. Um, oh, Gila. Hi, Gila. <laughs> My dream has always been to buy a house somewhere in LA, like really beautiful modern Spanish style ranch home with a beautiful garden and um, yeah. Would love to learn more about your family, like parents, plus you have siblings. I have one brother, his name is Stone, a very cool name I know. And my mom, he lives with my mom in Southern California. Um, and so that's the family that I'm like, in contact with the most is my mom and my brother. How is your first year of law practice going? So I got a lot of these questions. It was like, how's your job going so far? Do you still work in a law firm? If so, what field of law do you work in? Basically like how's being a lawyer? And answer is I love it. It's great. I think people set expectations so low when you go to law school, like every any people you're in touch with that graduated and like, just your peers will just set expectations so low. They just are like, oh my God, it's gonna be the worst. We're gonna hate life, corporate, big law, yada, yada, yada. It's gonna be the worst. And so my expectations were so low. I was ready to just like hate it and just kind of like put my years in, pay off my loans and like get through it. But yeah, long story short, I thought I would be hating life and I am very, very content. It's nice to like put work in, but feel like you're being adequately compensated. And I think a lot of people's frustration with corporate America is that they don't feel that way. And that's 100% valid and fair. And I think that is the problem with most corporate jobs, but at least where I'm at, that is not the case. And it is very nice and I am very grateful. And I'm liking it a lot. And the people I work with are so nice and so patient and kind and explain things to me. And I love that. How did you first get into gaming? I talk about this on my nostalgic, 90s baby nostalgic video. Uh, I first got into gaming because my family was always into gaming. They have video game consoles around, kind of like the vintage ones, more so than the current ones at the time. Yeah, we just always played as a family, and so I've always loved gaming. If you had to pick a different aesthetic, which would you pick? I would definitely pick, it's funny because when I first read this, I was like, I would never pick another aesthetic. Like, this is, this is who I am, which is true. Like, this is literally just, since I've been an adolescent, like teen, brown, even before that, I remember having a Tumblr where it was just like brown, like coffee, like philosophy, like 
um, bath products, like everything was brown. I just have always loved brown. It's comforting, it's cozy. I don't know, I can't explain it. But I realized, okay, well, that's the point of this question is <laughs> what would be the next one? Um, it would definitely be like the super colorful, like I feel like it started out as Danish pastel and now it's kind of more just like funky, colorful, eclectic, almost like 70s-ish vibe that I love it. Most and least favorite Stardew characters. My least favorite has got to be Clint. Uh, he's he's a nice guy, he is creepy, he like stalks Emily. I really dislike Clint. Shane or Elliot would be a close second. I have like a love hate with Elliot because like I get it, I get his vibes, I understand him as like somebody with this intellectual superiority complex. I understand, I relate. And maybe that's why I don't like him so much. You know, I see myself in him. <laughs> yeah, he just bothers me, he's too pretentious. My most favorite are definitely Emily because she's kooky crazy and I love her. Um, definitely Harvey because he's sweet and I always marry him. I like Sandy just because she's cool. She's got a cool vibe, you know. I think that's it, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh, I like Gus, I really like Gus. Why did you decide to start streaming? Love you, thank you, that's so sweet. Um, I decided to start streaming because people asked me to and literally that's the only reason why because never in my life would I have thought that I would stream, never in my life did I ever want to. I had literally no like impulse, no urge, no <laughs> nothing, dream to be, nothing, no anything and I just did it because people were like you should stream you should stream and I'm also like a completionist and so when I'm on like one platform I want to be on them all Chila I thought I would hate it because I'm an introvert and I can't even be around people for that long and be like on for that long but like for some reason streaming is a little bit different it just feels like hanging out with my friends my pals I, I kind of expected me to go in with this persona of like coziness and calmness and that's what we're doing for the whole stream but i can't do that because that's not who i am <laughs> y'all know that's not who i am like most of the time like i can do that when i need to and like when that's the vibe i want to like get across but i'm just not like that i'm i'm so crazy cookie crazy like i you know what i mean like I, i'm just a normal person <laughs> and so who likes to joke around with my friends and so that's what stream feels like and i'm so glad that i've been i felt free enough to be myself and sometimes I'll like go back and watch some streams and I'm like, this is the most, this is the only place where I'm like 100, truly 100% myself. And that's so crazy to me that that happens on stream when I'm live to like however many people are on that day on a internet platform. Like that's where I feel the most myself, but it's really just because of the community that I have. Cause they just like allow me to be myself. I've had people in my real life watch my streams and they're like, wow, you're like glowing on stream. Like you're, you look so happy and you look like you're having so much fun. And I'm like, I am, I am like, it's, it's literally my happy place. And I, and I don't say that lightly. Is your goal to do gaming social media uh, full time? So that's kind of what I just talked about. Not yet, but maybe. Like, it'll be nice to have that as an option. And I just got a manager, so like that makes it more possible but just because like they reach out to companies and like find sponsors for you um, so that like I don't have to spend my time doing that and I can just focus on content. And then um, I could do the sponsors and that like helps me be able to rely on this, replace my job with this but i don't think i want to do that yet because i'm enjoying my job i want to kind of like pay off my loan save up a lot of money and then maybe make that decision are you gonna get any more pets chila needs a friend i know chila needs a friend i know i don't know just not not for a good long while <laughs> not until maybe i move to la he's so much right now like i think he needs to get a little bit older and chill out a little bit more because he's insane. Like just last night, he was, I had was chasing him around the room, chasing, he was sprinting around the room, eyes this big, middle like 1.30 a.m. So no, not yet. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? I think still working, hopefully still working at the firm that I'm at because I really like it and I hope that I can continue to like it as much and like that it's a sustainable job for me. So hopefully that, and then, yeah, still doing this. Hope, hopefully this 
grows. My like long-term goal is to have 100K on YouTube. I just want a little silver plaque. And <laughs> that's, that's like my only content goal is like eventually becoming a partner on Twitch, which I don't know when that'll happen because I don't have time to stream that much. And a 100K plaque on YouTube. Those are my only goals. And like, they're just like, they're just for my own personal like, ooh, that'd be so fun, but it's, yeah. Do you want kids? I don't want kids um, with an asterisk of like, that's just how I feel right now. And that could, that's always subject to change because we change and our wants and needs change. So who knows? But yeah, as of now, I don't want kids and I don't see myself having kids. How do you make time for games when you're super busy asking for myself? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning balance and schedules and stuff. Um, and I currently don't have a lot of like personal time. So I don't know. Let me know when you find out. Are you part of the LGBTQIA plus community? Um, I do not label myself. Um, I am like one of those people, you know, one of those new wave people that think <laughs> sexuality is usually a spectrum. And so I just don't like to label myself. I don't, this is like my personal opinion. I don't think other people should feel like they have to know what other people are attracted to. Um, I understand it's like definitely part of our society and stuff, but like, the assumption should just be like, well, you like who you like and that's what it is. So though I definitely am on the like demisexual spectrum of like asexuality where I do not feel like a certain uh, level of attraction to somebody uh, unless I like connect with them on like a personal level. Uh, like I, in, I know that sounds like, well, that's how everybody feels. Um, <laughs> but if you like look into demisexuality, it's a little bit different and it's more like you just, you don't like recognize somebody as attractive or you don't have like any kind of attraction to people until like you can recognize somebody as conventionally attractive, but you're not like attracted to them. You know what I mean? Like you can be like, that person is conventionally attractive because their face looks that way, but you're not attracted to them as a, as a face. <laughs> like you would have to get to know them and connect with them as a person and like their person and your individual connection to then have an attraction to them at all. And so growing up, that was a really confusing mental thing for me because I was like, whoa, do I just not like anybody? Like, I don't understand. Um, but then like sometimes I would have a crush on people and so it was confusing, but that's yeah, what I've learned over time is just like basically sexuality and attraction comes in so many different forms and spectrums and ways and like never feel like you use it the wrong way because it's not, it's just unique to you. When did you get into cozy gaming and the aesthetic? Um, well, it, <laughs> it's kind of a hard question because like it was just me, it was just like, I just started posting what I felt when I played games and just like the aesthetic that I personally liked and it, that kind of developed over time. Um, but I started my account like February of 2020 and then I think cozy gaming as a like identifier became kind of a thing after my community on TikTok sort of made it a thing. That was like January of 2021. Um, and then it's like took, took, took off since then and I'm, I love that. And sometimes people come to me and ask me like, hey, is it okay if I like do this cozy gamer like XYZ like product or whatever? And I'm like, yes, of course. I did not invent the idea of cozy games. I just simply am the, the pusher of them. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, I love that it's become an identifier and a like identity and that people call themselves cozy gamers. It's just, I love that we've taken over. <laughs> we have, we are now at critical mass and I love that. Uh, have you been able to find time to relax, be cozy since starting your job? No. <laughs> Tips for balance, I have none. I'm still learning myself. Um, I will definitely share the journey in my vlogs and things like that, but I don't know. Like I have sometimes, like sometimes in the week, I'll be like, oh my God, is this an hour before bed that I have? 
for myself to just chill out. Oh my God, okay, okay, it's happening, let's chill out. Um, and then I'll like fall asleep. So <laughs> no, <laughs> but I'm working on it. So the last couple questions I'm seeing are, one is skincare. I'll show you my skincare routine. It's very small. I've been through every single skincare like like trend, whatever, like, and so I eventually kind of like simplified and figured out what works best for my skin. So my all time favorite cleanser is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave. That one and the Youth to the People like Kale one, they're very similar. Love them. Um, this is usually my pre, uh, when I have a lot of makeup, it's like a oil cleanser, Purito oil cleanser. And I take off my makeup with that and then I wash my face. Then in the daytime, I'll use this April Skin Toner and I just like pat it on my face. I don't use a cotton round. And then at night, uh, I'll use this, which is the Kaila It's a chemical exfoliant one. I don't use it every night because I don't wash my face every night. I know it's bad, but I don't. Um, but yeah, you're only supposed to use it like two to three times a week. Then I use this serum. This is like the only serum that I use anymore. I used to like do a bunch of like good molecules like inky list, do a bunch of little chemical things and now I just use this. And then I use yeah, kind of any sunscreen, but I really like this one lately. It's called Black Girl, Sun Sun Black Girl Sunscreen. Black Girl Sunscreen and you can get it at like Target. And this is obviously not just for black girls, but it's great because it doesn't leave like a white cast. So if you want like a smooth one that doesn't leave a white cast, it's water resistant. It's great. And then I just use this for moisturizer at night. That's it, y'all. That's the whole thing. That will not change. <laughs> if you're ever curious about skincare, it'll be this for the rest of my life. The last two questions, one was, what would you tell your 16-year-old self? And I think I would tell my 16-year-old self to, this is, this is kind of hard. I would say, okay, I would say one, it is true what people say to work hard now so that the rest of your life is easier. That is true. So keep working hard. And then enjoy the time that you have because it might, like the teen years were so nice. Like there was a lot to stress about, but there was also a really nice thing about just like being a kid and, you know, having kid things. And yeah, being a kid is fun. And that like, you're gonna be proud of yourself when you grow up. So don't stress, invest, open an investment account. Oh my God, open a Roth IRA, open an investment account. Oh my God, just a little bit, just a little bit. So much, so many years ahead of other people. And then the last question was relationship status. A couple of people asked about this. I am not somebody who likes to talk about my romantic life when it's still like early days. Um, and it, it, it's been a quite a chunk of time with this person, but it is still early days. So y'all will not hear mention of this person's name, any details about them, nothing for a while. <laughs> but yes, I am seeing somebody and it's been a minute and it's like very different than any other situations I've been in. It's very adult and very like childlike at the same time, which is interesting. Like it's very like puppy love. Uh, yeah, like I've never felt this way about somebody for like this long. In general, I never felt this way about somebody, but then like also have not maintained like feelings for somebody this long to the extent that I'm feeling them. And yeah, so it's just like a very new and different situation for me. And so it's a really cool learning experience and it feels like really healthy and like I'm having a great time. <laughs> and I don't like talking about it that much because it's very special to me and I like, like to keep it special and you know close to the heart yeah that's it that's the q a it was a long one thank you for the questions if you have any more questions just ask me in the comments and i'll just maybe like answer them in the comments bye hi cozy friends how are we it's been a weird like mixture of days and it's been a while since the last vlog <laughs> i think I went to the store and then i filmed part of what i got at the store but I'm, I'm just gonna show you what i got now because the lighting was bad it was like dark it wasn't good and then i'm gonna show y'all the collection of stuff from my friend ashley and then i think that's about it okay so the, these are the things i got very quickly I got pumpkin cream, so I saw somebody have this on Instagram, and y'all, well, I don't know if y'all know, but I have the chai, a, a, a piche, a, a speech. Okay, 
This is literally one of my favorite scents. It's like a body mist and hair perfume, but it's really strong and I just use it all over and kind of just mainly use it as a perfume. Sometimes I'll layer it with like um, the vanille perfume from Anthropology. I've gone through this huge thing. That's how much I've gone through. And they discontinued it at Urban. I was trying to like keep it and preserve it and not use it that much once I realized that they weren't gonna continue to sell it. And then they f I found them at at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And I, I bought two of them. I bought two additional ones of these because I'm like, I'm, I refuse to not have this scent in my life for at least the next like five years. <laughs> and then this must be like a really old one or it was like a really fast seasonal one. And so I saw somebody have it on Instagram and I was like, what the frick? I don't, maybe they just never sold it at Urban or something. Cause what is this? I don't know, but regardless, I can't get to a point to save my life. I saw somebody have it in their collection on Instagram and I was like freaking out. I was like, what pumpkin cream? That sounds like exactly, that sounds like this, but like maybe a little less spicy. Found it on Mercari. I think I got it for like $20 or something. And so worth it, so worth it. It's just, it's perfect. It's just like a nice gourmand, like vanilla. I don't really smell pumpkin. Honestly, it's just kind of like a creamier vanilla like spice. It's just like a creamer version of this basically. I was so excited about that, okay? And then, well, I was stupid and I did dumb things and I got these. Rude, I got these. None, I didn't get any of them on sale. Not one. It's a classic, Bare Vanilla is a classic. If you like vanilla, you'll probably like Bare Vanilla. It's a little more like Play-Doh-y vanilla to me, which I think is why it's taken me a while to just like accept it. Like I think I bought one on Mercari like a year or so ago and then I, re I like resold it because I was like, I'm never gonna use this. But alas, this one, I wa I'm watching, I think her name's It's Mira on YouTube. Um, I'm in my self-care, you know, YouTuber kick. And she reviews them and this is a new line and she reviewed all of them and she was like, of the four, this was her second favorite. And because our, it seems like our scent preferences are aligned, I was like, okay, I'll probably feel the same. So I went expecting to get the one that was her first favorite, which was like Petal Something. But Petal Something was very whatever and I just couldn't see what occasion I would wear it to. This, so she said it smells like something from her childhood and she couldn't place it. As soon as I smelled it, I was like Garnier or Garnier whatever shampoo. 100% Garnier shampoo, 100%. And like the one that everybody used growing up. I remember I used it even though it wasn't like meant for curly hair. I was like, I just wanna be like the rest of the girls. That's exactly what it smelled like. And I was like, this is perfect. Who doesn't wanna smell like shampoo, like fresh shampoo? It's identical, it's identical. It's amazing. So I've been using this a lot. And then this one, um, there's this whole line of their like natural scents. And this was the one that I thought I would not care for. Like I just, I would be bored by. Cause coconut milk and rose, like hearing that, you can probably imagine exactly what it smells like, right? Like I was like, okay, it's gonna be kind of like mild, light, white watery rose. It's not, it's not, it's so different. It's so like bright. Oh my God. It's really like punchy with like a, like a zesty, it's super zesty to be a coconut milk and rose perfume. I honestly, I don't even really get rose to be honest with you. Botanical inspiration. Yeah. It says feel calm. I don't feel calm. This feels like I want to like smell fresh and clean and go to the store. It's similar to this. Like I like both of these cause I figured they'd be good. Like I don't want to it's too hot or it's like too quick of an errand to wear some heavy perfume. So like perfect, these things. That's it, that's what I got. That was my haul for the day. <laughs> that's it, let's move on to Smash Lee's, Ashley's. Her name's Smashley. I mean, her name's Ashley, but her screen name is Smashley, so I always just say Smashley. And if you're in my streams, you know who Smashley is. Smashley's mama, Smashley's mommy, sent one of her mystery boxes. So this is her, I'll put it on the screen as well, right? But this is her page. It's Craft Boss Journaling. Craft Boss Journaling on a Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, craftbossjournaling.com. It is Smashley's mom's little shop. Ashley sent me notes, which is very kind. Um, so what, she sent me this huge box. Hello is a limited edition, extra, extra large Christmas mystery box with a retail value of over $300. And this was a personalized box made just for me, which is so sweet. Um, and she sent this over to kind of showcase what 
items there are so that you would know what you're in for. These sold out in three days during the holiday season. And I got the last one. Oh my God, thanks, Ash. The current mystery boxes that are still available in her shop right now are Harry Potter mystery boxes and friends mystery boxes. So she has themed boxes, which is so cute. Ashley made the planner cover for me. Look at it. How cute. It's like me drawing on my iPad and then cozy fam and a mushroom and a mail truck from Lake and then Sims and a margarita from Margaritaville and then Stardew Valley Farm and Spirit Fair Everdoor. It is like just every, every interest of mine. <laughs> it's a planner for the new year. It's like a beautiful ringed planner. The, the customization is, is, was special to me and it was very, very sweet of Ashley and I appreciate that very much, Ashley. Most of the time you just get like, um, the, the planner page that like the, the bundle comes with. <laughs> Ashley made notes about how she doesn't like the color and the the vinyl anymore on this But I just like anything that's customized. I think that's so sweet and cute. I love the mug They have new mugs now on the shop. She's like you can peel it off, but I just it says my name so it says my name and I am a narcissist so so craft boss journaling is a small business that makes journals journal covers for happy planners, personalized gift boxes, mugs, journaling accessories, and stationary sets. And most items have the option to personalize for free. And, oh my God, I didn't even, I just, as I'm reading this, I'm seeing, she included a promo code. Oh my gosh, I have my own Cozy K promo code, 20% off, 20% off your first order. Um, that's amazing. Ashley, you're the best. I love you. Uh, that is so sweet. You didn't have to do that. Your mom didn't have to do that. But y'all, I'm about to show you what else is in this box. And hopefully, if you like it, you can go use the Cozy K code at the store. So, I think Smashley just sent this because she's sweet. And, sh and look at it. It's a little Zelda painting. I love it. Let's see what we have. Aww. Little, little mini erasers. K, one of these K stickers. Peel and stick, oh my gosh. That's so cute. Okay, so we have a little K sticker. We have the rainbow um, erasers. We have a too cute for this planet sticker. Smashly, you are so funny. And then little page markers, little narwhal page markers. There's so much in this box, y'all. Like, I need y'all to see. We got, we got a lot to get, to get through. Ah! Oh! Treasure chest. Oh my gosh. Little treasure chest. Just like I uh, I love mystery things. Like I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting. Look at this. What do we think it is? I think it's um a candle. Ah, it's a candle holder. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, I wish I opened this a long time ago. This is so cute. It's like one of the little Jesus candles, but it's Zelda. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. So cute. Oh my god, where am I going to put this? Oh my god, I love it so much. I'm like trying to figure out where I can put it immediately. Oh my god. That's so exciting. Okay, what? Well, I was close. It wasn't a candle, it was a candle holder. <gasps> a bunch of washi tape. I love washi tape. I use it in my journals. Here's a little Pac Man one. Oh, it's this cute little boba one. Y'all really spoiled me. What the heck? <gasps> a mushroom flip book. Look it. Little flip book of mushrooms. Oh my God, where did you find these things? A cute little carved wooden owl. The pure serotonin this is giving me. <gasps> Are these stickers? Oh my God, y'all. <gasps> y'all, it's just a bunch of stickers. It's a bunch of cute stickers. Oh, it's a bunch. Of, it's a bunch of cute stickers. Look at these. They're all like pixel art stickers. <gasps> There's a little cake. There's a little cake and little clouds. <gasps> There's a big cake, there's a big cake. Oh, there's like a stack, look at this, there's a stack of them. I'm gonna find my favorite, okay? <gasps> oh, I can't pick a favorite. Ah, there's a Kelpico! Okay, I can't pick my favorite, so here's, I'll share them in categories, okay? Here are my favorite of the drinks. Little Kelpico, little like strawberry boba, 
And then this little guy, so cute. And then, oh, there's one more. And then this one, he's a little carton of strawberries. And then I showed y'all the cake. That one's a favorite, okay? And then this one, look, PlayStation controller. All right, what do we think this is? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my God. I wanted one, of, I've been wanting a notepad to keep on my desk. Look at this. It's a little plant one. This is like so well crafted to my personality and I, it's, the detail has not gone unnoticed, Ashley. Look at that. There's like little, there's small ones. Oh my God, I'm so excited to put that on my desk. I'm having a second Christmas, my birthday soon. So I can, I can pretend like this is my birthday present as well. A little, <laughs> a little poop, poop paper clip because of course. And then erasers, little fruit erasers. Ah, there's a cherry. My obsession, I don't know if I've said this, I've definitely said it on stream. One of my obsessions is like small versions of food. It has been ever since I've been a child. So that's amazing and I'm, I, my life is made. My inner child is healed. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I love it. Oh my God, the, I know this sticker is not specifically me, but it looks like me and I love that. And I'm just gonna imagine it's me. Ah, oh, cute little boba. Some leaf decals. Oh, I love these. Look at these. Oh my gosh, these will be so cute on like a a laptop. I'm plotting. I'm really plotting. So many stickers. Like I can't even share all of this. There's just a, there's so many stickers. Okay, we have two more things to unwrap. We have this and we have this. Make your guesses. What's the flat one? It kind of bends. Okay. What's the skinny one? I'm guessing some kind of pen, some kind of writing utensil, some kind of book, some kind of journal. What are you guessing? Write it in the comments now. Oh, little journals. Oh, cute. I love it. Whoa, was I wrong? It's a stack of cute little paper clips. Look at this. See, this is like the main Christmas themed item here. I can, I can keep them out year round and then turn them around for Christmas. Everything is perfect. I love everything. I wish you could just see the state of like, I have stuff over here. I have stuff over here, everything over here. Thank you so much, Ashley and Ashley's mama. Craft Boss Journaling. Please go check it out. And the code, it was Cozy K, the code, 20% off. You can get little surprise boxes of goodies. You can get, ooh, Craft Boss Journaling is a star seller on Etsy, by the way. So the mystery boxes are like only $46, $68 for a bunch of cute stuff, y'all. That's it. I love y'all. Thanks for coming with me on this cozy vlog. I love having y'all with me. I love chatting with y'all. I love y'all. Stay cozy. Bye.